Hello and welcome to the channel. We're going to do a bit more armor testing today. We've got a few blocks set up here. What we have first is a three-layered light armor block. Oops, I actually missed a spot there. There we go. Alright, so you have three solid layers. We've got it lined up with the center, and then these bracing pieces just to keep it attached, of course. So we're going to see how that holds up. See how long it takes to penetrate through. Next we have a dual layer of light armor with a space and then heavy armor. Then of course we have a solid block down here of light armor, heavy armor, and then light armor. Over here we have a two layer system with a sloped armor to see if the slope has any effect on the damage rate. And of course we have a two layer light armor block as we did yesterday to uh, use as a basis to compare to the slope armor. Alright, so we'll start with the easiest. We'll do the uh, two layer and then the slope armor. Alright, six shots seem to punch a hole right through the uh, two layer. Just if I recall yesterday it was five shots, so there is some variation in it. Alright, four shots went through it at slope, so the slope doesn't seem to affect it at all. It's within that same range as the regular flat two layer. Next, we'll move on. Alright, there's about 26 shots to shoot through the uh, single layer light armor, single layer heavy armor with a space between them. Seem to have actually cut through in about five or six. Oh no, it's just deforming there actually. Looks like the heavy armor is still intact. shots there. Next we'll try our three light armor layers with spacing. Right, so that's about nine shots and the tenth one went right through. So what we can surmise from that is that the spacing is actually critical to making sure you can take additional damage. Since having it blocked up together as a solid set, the damage seems to push through when it warps on the first layer and second layer, and so on. So basically, any layers that take damage are going to damage the layer that they're attached to, and that's going to reduce the durability. So going with a dual layer or even three layered system that has a space in it, and mixing that up with heavy armor, or at least one layer of heavy armor and several layers of light armor would be more optimal. That would also be fairly cost effective. Of course, if the steel plate cost is not a big factor for you, obviously you're going to want to do just nothing but heavy armor. and just put that single layer spacing between it. You may even want to do dual layers and then a space and another dual layer. Since there is some bracing effect, having a layer on the back side 
but there's also that whole issue with damage actually transferring through as far as warping. Alright, I hope that was helpful and informative. As always, have a good day.